I'm action. I'm set. And this is our Steve in the, the Valley, Valley memories, memories video. Now, obviously, we're not going to do a director's cut of Steve in the Valley because we didn't catch Steve in the Valley in many places like we did the 1225 where we could edit up a chronological order of where the engine passed through and where the diesel pulled the 1225 back through. But action was there the first year we went as a group to Steam in the Valley and well we're going to talk about that and 2017 because personally even though it's a pain to chase Steam in the Valley I think Steam in the Valley is one of the best steam events in the country of the year. If you're going to chase it, I recommend you spend a whole weekend there because trust me, if you don't plan accordingly, you won't make many shots. But anyhow, it started in 2016 as another event for 765 and I really wanted to ride behind 765. Even though I got to see it up close, I thought riding behind it would be pretty cool. So I bounced the idea off of action and go and to kind of to kind of add my take to it, going to a Steam in the Valley was it was my it was going to be my first time seeing a Berkshire class locomotive, and I couldn't pass that opportunity up. And well, just like our two preceding trips, we went to bed early, and early morning hit us. Instead of being smart and getting a hotel in the area because the drive to Steam in the Valley isn't that far away, we decided waking up at. We, Early in the morning was the better alternative, which uh, it was, yeah, it was uh, one of the last times we actually got up early in the morning to drive somewhere instead of waking up early in the morning to catch something. But one of the things that I was hoping for, which we were able to do, was we beat the 7, I'm sorry, we beat the 767 into Akron Station. And I wanted to get a shot of it pulling into the station knowing that we were going to have a photo run by. Because one of my big concerns looking at that day was I thought it was going to rain and we were going to get the photo run by. So we arrived there, I think maybe about half hour before the 767 pulled. It may have even, you know what, it was an hour. The more I think about it, because they were running late that day, because the excursion was supposed to be at 9. We got there at 7.30 in the morning. I thought we were going to miss it. We all set up with a group of people. I had go, go on the bridge. I was sitting there taking pictures, and then all of a sudden the 767 at that point... We were watching on my phone, The I had the Fort Wayne app, we were watching on my phone, and then all of a sudden we heard the whistle and there was the 767 pulling in. And I want to do a shout out to former member Go, that was a great shot you got of the smoke and the horizon. We didn't see that because we were all busy wondering where the 767 were, was, you just happened to see the smoke. And as the, and as the 767 came past where I was standing, I could actually feel the heat from the engine standing right next to it. And... One thing that was cool was we rode in the Robert Redford coach that he rode in when they took the consist to... That, that was cool. And just a little note for anyone who doesn't know, the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railway, which has the 765 every year, they uh, once owned the Grand Trunk Western 4070, which was brought to Gowanda, New York, for the filming of The Natural. And the coach that Action and myself and Go rode on was the coach that was Robert Redford rode in in the movie The Natural. But anyhow, we had photo run bys that day. We've spoken about that in past videos. The, the day just turned out great. I mean, there wasn't a lot of great action of the 765 other than it pulling into the station and the photo run bys, but it was a great ride. I cannot recommend that ride to anyone enough. Even if you plan on chasing it, which is a pain, which I'll get to in a second, the ride in Steam the Valley is absolutely awesome. The views are absolutely spectacular. My only gripe is I wish they'd actually have it in October instead of September. But I'm sure there's some logistical things there why they have to have it in September as opposed to October. But I could just only imagine what Cuyahoga Valley would look like in in the middle of fall with all those... In full fall foliage collars. Now, actually, do you have anything else to add about the 2016 Steam in the Valley? I honestly can't think of anything to add to what the set has said. Yeah, if you do get a chance, uh, go check it out. So, with that being said, like Howell Melon Fest and like the 75th anniversary excursion of the Car Marquette 1225, I did want to go back and chase the 765 through Steam in the Valley because I remembered it being such a beautiful valley. Um, I'd seen pictures of Brexville, the S curve. The train going through a place called Deep Lock Quarry, I believe is what it's called, Peninsula. And when looking at a map, the Steam in the Valley chase looks like it could be a pretty good chase because you you look at it, it looks like you could get quite a few different spots between the two runs on a day. Well, that's where you're absolutely wrong. When I was chasing the Arcade and Attic on the 4th of July, 
excursions. I met a guy who was telling me that it was not as easy as what it looked and that the cars on Riverview Road do add quite a bit of congestion to the chase and that it's really not that easy of a chase. And the more I got talking to people, it did seem like traffic was a big problem because of all the people that pace the locomotive on Riverview Road. I am glad with the way how our video did turn out this year. I listened to the advice of a few friends while doing a few things on my own because I talked to quite a few different people about the Steam in the Valley event. Chasing it, if you know what you're doing, you could probably get maybe a top three shots of the locomotive a run. And, and uh, that's not including the photo run buys. But chasing Steam in the Valley was great, and as a channel, I would love to go back and chase Steam in the Valley again. I'm sure I actually would love to actually get more pacing footage. But yeah, that's pretty much our Steam in the Valley memories, and hopefully they have another Steam in the Valley. I'm Action. I'm Sutton.